Hello. All right, guys. I want to talk about this page really quickly. I'm going to have you fill this page out today um, to help us with our comprehension of Maniac McGee. But there's other really good um, themes to practice on this page. I love it. So the first one says predict. We're going to make a prediction. This is based on what you've read and what you know, what do you think will happen next? Now, some of you already read ahead, um, but I want you to um, think about the next part. This is what clues helped you to think about what will happen next. So if you have already read ahead, think about what clues helped you to know what was going to happen before you read it. Does that make sense? So answer that one the, the best you can. It also says, is your prediction logical? Does it make sense? You can't predict that Jeffrey's going to fly to the moon and marry an alien because that's not logical. That has really nothing to do with what was going on in the story, right? So make your prediction logical. The next one says visualize. Choose a scene from the reading that you were able to visualize. So you saw it in your mind, right? I love that. That you were able to visualize clearly in your head. Using your own words, describe it in the space below. Mm, that's what good authors do. They help you to see something in your mind. Now, everybody's going to see it differently because we're all different. But good authors help us to do that. Now, I want you to use your own words to describe it in that place below. Now, you did actually write or you drew a picture on another day. Um, you can use that same scene if you want, but you're going to describe it in words. The next one says connect. Make a text to text, text to self, or text to world connection. Explain it in the space below. This means you're going to take what you've read so far and you're going to connect it to something else in your life. Something else that you've read before, um, something that you've felt or experienced before, um, or a situation that you've seen or been in. So text to world is another situation. Now, I told you the other day when we were talking um, about fence sweater. What was that guy's name? The house. All of a sudden I can't see it. Where's my mini? -book? Remember that house and no one wanted to go by the yard. Everyone was super scared of it. The teenagers threw that poor 10 year old boy. His name was Arnold. That was his fake name. But um, in over the fence and um, there it is. Fin Finsterwald. Yeah. And I told you that I was going to make a connection that that reminded me of that part in um, the Sandlot. There you go. I thought of it this time. The Sandlot where everybody was afraid of the man who lived in that house with the beast, that dog. And the dog was so scary. And, and it said that it was kind of a graveyard for tennis balls and baseballs. And that's what happened in the Sandlot too. If anybody um, hit a baseball over the fence or a football or a frisbee or anything, it was just like, well, that's it. It's gone forever because no one is going to hop over that fence and get it. They're too afraid of the beast. Well, that was my um, text to self connection. That's what that made me think of when I thought of the Finster Wall. So I want you to think of another part of the book that you can make a t connection to. Something that you, um, whether it's another book that you've read or another experience in your life. Okay. The last part says question. Choose and answer a level one thinking stem from the list provided. Hmm. Guess what? I don't have a list. Your answers should be detailed and should reflect your understanding of the reading. Well, you know what? If you're listening to this video, then you are going to get out of this question because we actually talked about the questions before during our Zoom chat. Um, <clears throat> and those were actually level one questions. They were easy, basic questions. True or false questions or level one questions. Um, I think we're good. So I think we're okay to not answer that. You don't need, I don't, and I don't have a list for you. So I'm not sure where that, I'll have to look through my teaching stuff. But anyway, so you don't need to worry about the question. So just do predict, visualize, and connect. Got it? Good. Maybe next time we get together also, you can share those with me. I would be happy to hear what you did for your prediction and your vis visualization and especially your connection. I like to do connections. It's fun. Have a good day.